pro, get bold. I just can't hold back the focus. I'm the man with soul. In control and effects, so what the heck? Rock the disco tank. I need the stage, Playboy. I need the stage. I need the stage, Playboy. That ain't my fucking problem. That ain't my fucking problem. from the control room and let's talk about this stupid ass <laughs> Cannons on the mic, and I'm gonna tell about a man of a limp, rump, strength, and power. So listen to the band of the pow. Cannons about to knock him out. Listen, hijack, listen. Let me explain something to you, brother. You cannot disrespect the legend. Point blank, period. Oh, so to all my new subscribers, make sure you follow, share the channel. You know, subscribe, share the channel. I appreciate you guys. Well, listen, I'm about to, I will be going live soon. You know what I mean? So, y'all get ready. But listen. Very disrespectful, man. Kane's over at the UK performing, uh, allegedly hijacked, was scheduled to perform, right? Gets mad and interrupted my man's show. Come on, bro, like, you a clown. And you in your mid to late 50s, and you're interrupting a legend show? Kane ain't no sucker. You was about to get fucked up. I mean, <coughs> They came because he's an OG. Think he, you think he won't? What? First of all, how did, where was the balances? Where, where was security to allow this man to even get on stage? That was some clown ish. Maybe was some clown shit. I ain't ish or nothing. But not to mention, you had a mask on your face. Really, brother? Maybe that's why they ain't even let you perform. Why are you getting on stage with a mask on your face? You ain't ghost face killer. You ain't, you, you, you not, no, it's, no, mm -mm. no, it's quiet for you, bro. Then you did an interview after the incident. Well, you know, um, you know, the way they treat us artists in the UK, they treat them, they treat the Americans better than, that has nothing, that's why I can't say what he said. He said, I ain't got shit to do with it. You sold out the UK saying that the UK treats American artists better than you guys. So what you getting on Kane's show for? And interrupting his inter interrupting his greatness. So you thought that would be, I guess, a viral moment? Nah, man. You're always going to be known as a clown that disrupted a legend's performance. Because you're a clown. That's clown shit. Ain't no, nah, you should have talked to promoters and maybe something could have been negotiated. No. You're a clown. You did some clown shit. And not to mention, you're in your mid to late 50s. And you knew better than that. You know, we all got families at home. We left, we decided to leave our families. Big Daddy Kane came across the country. Came out the country, I'm sorry. He left the country to perform in the UK. He got family. He got family at home. You local. You could walk home. So now you done burnt the bridge with a legendary artist among other people. So now you consider it as a nuisance. You, you can't control yourself. You have a problem. That's why I called you a clown. I'm not saying you, you're not, a, you're not, I'm not calling you a clown as, as a man. 
saying, as an artist, you're a clown. You came on, you had, first of all, you have a mask on your face and you disrupted the show. That's clown shit. You need to apologize to that man. Apologize to Big Daddy Kane. Every time your name pops up, you're always going to be associated with that. So, you know, go back home and explain to your family why you disrupted the show, you know. That's not good. You, you, you knew that was going to help you. Anyway, it's DOA at the control room, man. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share the channel. But, but apologize to that man, man. That was clown shit. You look at Kane and kick your ass, man. Thank <laughs> you.